Hey out there! Um, I'm back from vacation. If I look a little bit off, it's because I sort of got sunburned on my face and then swam into the edge of a pool. So, if it looks like somebody punched me in the face, know that nobody punched me in the face. I just sort of swam into a wall, which is um, less confrontational, but not exactly more dignified. Um, all right. So, um, I, get, I got back, and of course the first thing I decided to do is go over my tape with all the recorded episodes of Sonic Boom, and I will be making them in order. Yes, all well and good, all well and good. So, um, this was actually the same episode, um, Blue with Envy, that I caught on YouTube a few weeks back for my, um, out-of-sequence vlogs. So, um, this one is, um, uh, it's episode 28, of course, um, Blue with Envy. So, instead of talking about the episode again, I figured I would elaborate on something. Um, now, the basic plot of this episode is that Swifty the Head, the, the Shrew, is basically a parody of the overdone foot, of the over, uh, you know, the overdone fan character. Like, like, uh, he's designed to be all epic and cool, he, like, like, see, you got the, ep you got the, um, you have, um, he's a parody of an, of an overdone fan character, uh, he is sort of designed to look a little bit like classic Sonic. You know, he's, um, because he, he's phys he has a physically shorter build. Um, and it's also a knock at the Disney Corporation. Because, um, you know, Eggman tries to set up his giant theme park and he even puts a statue of him holding the Shrew's hand, which is supposed to look like the statue of Walt Disney holding hands with Mickey Mouse that's erected in Disneyland. So, you know, he's like sort of a huge parody of all these things. Um, but, you may recall, um, the thing that made me and a lot of other people rage quit Teen Titans Go! was uh, Let's Get Serious, an episode where they basically did kind of the same thing, where they parodied older material and, uh, made, fun of, and made fun of the fans and viewing audience. What's the difference between what this show did and what Teen Titans Go! did? Well, when Teen Titans Go! made Let's Get Serious, they were basically saying, we don't want you to like our show. Um, we, we, don't need you, we don't need your fandom. The net, our show is cheap and easy to produce, and the network likes it because it moves merch to little kids. Therefore, screw you. Um, and they, they did this in the form of making, of, um, of making fun of tropes in early 90s comics, uh, late 80s, early 90s, dark ages comics with the overdone musculature, the, the dark grit without any actual deeper plot meanings. Um, so yeah, they were basically doing that kind of stuff, but, um, the thing is, that was a straw man. Because pe the, the, the people who were rejecting them were rejecting them based on the, on the lack of the serious nature of the older comics, of the older com yeah, it was because it wasn't, you know, the people who had been complaining had been fans of the cartoon series that had preceded it. In fact, that very episode featured a cameo from Young Justice characters, so they had to know. And the cartoon series going all the way back to Batman the Animated Series in 1993, were never, ever like what they were depicted in, the, in, in that serious business episode. So they're actually, so that, that's the whole thing. They're, they're straw manning, saying the older cartoons were a way that they never actually were, so that they could say that their cartoon is better than that by comparison. Like, that's what a straw man argument is. You construct a weak, you, you, you construct a weak path uh, a weak argument that's easy to knock down, and then saying that that argument was actually your opponent's, and and um, you know it's basically lying, like because you know like I said the old the old cartoons like even the ones that had been canceled the same year that that Teen Titans Go came out Green Lantern and Young Justice were nothing like as depicted in Serious Business. 
Meanwhile, here in Sonic Boom, we're looking at a parody of, um, of 90-isms tropes, like, uh, cause he's a skateboarder, wearing all kinds of, of, uh, trendy clothing, kind of like Poochie from that, from The Simpsons when they, when they tried to make Itchy and Scratchy more hip. Um, uh, you know, that, that's, that's an episode from a long time ago. Um, so, and, uh, and, you know, like, like, uh, it's basically the physical embodiment of rocket power. Is that's the best way I could say. If any of you know what rocket power is, rocket power was a Nicktoon made in like 1999 uh, with all with basically focus group 90isms, and it uh, it's a show that was okay in its own time, but textbook case of one not aging well. But basically, yeah, like, uh, you take, like, the 90s ima imagination of Sonic when he was, uh, like, I have old shirts from when I was a little kid that has Sonic's face that says, dude with a tood on them. Like, like, that, that was Sonic's thing. He was supposed to be all edgy and anti-authoritarian and hip and cool. And, um, well, the character had the good sense to evolve, like, if you look at Sonic Boom, this interpretation of Sonic is a little bit of a dork. Like, like he couldn't come up with a with a trendy catchphrase, and when he finally got some success at the end, he he kind of tried to milk it to the point where it sound where 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 it stopped being cool. Like Sonic isn't hip. Sonic has kind of owned the fact that he's what hip was 20 years ago, and now he's kind of a kind of a kind of an, a dork for that and that this they they are com they're completely unashamed about that and have owned it they're not trying to pretend that they're still cool and of course besides that he's also evolved and does other stuff which is you know okay so yeah that that's basically why i like this kind of parody because it's also self it's also self referential parody like like they're taking out the the massive Disney corporation like um, I'm gonna make a theme park which is gonna have overpriced merchandise and bad food but you'll all love it because of the shrew and um, you're gonna you and um, you know it's, it, 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 it's it's this is how you do a proper parody is what I'm trying to get at. Alright, so enough about an episode that I've already talked about. Um, I'm going to watch the next episode in the sequence now, and uh, we'll do a vlog of that one.